Welcome to Earth Roots Healing. Much love to you and yours. I've had a few requests to go over some benefits of He Xiao Wu or Polygonum Multiflorum or Foti, three things that it's commonly called um, because I planted some recently and we like to go over the benefits of things we're growing here uh, to share you know some of our passion to inspire passion in you for plants, herbs, healthy foods, being grounded, connected to the earth, you know, proving the earth while the earth improves your health, etc. So let's go over uh, some of these benefits. I wrote down 10, I scratched down 10. Now remember, there's always more with any amazing tonic herb or anything, anything that we go over on this channel, there's always gonna be more benefits. But I'd like to make a short motivational video that just kind of hopefully stimulates, you know, interest and excitement and some passion in you. So you'll go do your own research because I'm not telling anybody what to do. That's not what this is. Um, this is just sharing some passion in hopes that others will look into these things for themselves. Very, very empowering to say the least. And when you get into the, the natural medicines of the world, the natural vitality enhancement methods that are available to you or can be, um, it makes the world a better place through making your own life better, okay? Because it's all connected. So without further ado, let's go over 10 of the most exciting uh, benefits of He Xiao Wu, Polygona Multiflorum, Foti. And, uh, and then hopefully you'll be motivated, stimulated to, you know, look into it further and figure out how to, if you want to, um, incorporate it in or include it in your life and uh, make your life better make the world a better place okay so much love here we go 10 amazing benefits it's well known for since ancient Chinese medicine times when this herb was highly touted as one of the greatest uh, longevity and overall tonic and life enhancing herbs in the world for good reason number one it's famous for hair benefits and <laughs> this probably isn't the most important thing about it but there's nothing wrong with appealing to people's vanity because when you use an herb to say look better, hair and skin, um, that's because it's fixing you from the inside. It's benefiting all your glands and meridians and organs and so forth. And there's nothing wrong with looking good, especially when you're also going to be feeling good. Uh, we're talking about restoring hair color, improving hair growth, um, growing hair where you've been losing it. You know, like if you're balding, there's been reversal of that. Um, remember to look into these things for yourselves. And remember also, when it comes to natural, powerful healing herbs, there's going to be a lot of misinformation out there mixed in to scare you away from it. And I don't want to get into this far enough to get myself in any trouble, but just remember, there's a lot of big business that stands to lose a lot of control of the way the populace thinks and a lot of money when people empower themselves to heal themselves and they don't need to buy drugs with side effects and, and play that game. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, brain health improvements heart health improvements, including cholesterol and blood pressure levels, immunity improvements. Wouldn't it be nice if people had good immunity so we didn't have outbreaks of silly viruses, you know, giving the world an excuse to lock everybody down and destroy small businesses and train the population to be locked down and, and give up more of their human rights. <laughs> okay, I won't go any further. Moving on, red blood cell production. So like if you're an athlete, like myself, you'll notice this. I've noticed it from taking it. Um, my already ruddy complexion would get even redder because there's more red blood cells available. And like when you push yourself on certain cardio type training on a regular basis, you'll notice improved stamina. Like say it's running, just theoretically, you'll notice all of a sudden you can run further, faster, easier. Okay, pretty incredible, right? So that's a performance enhancer right there. Um, don't tell anybody or it'll be illegalized from sports, even though it's healthy. Okay. Uh, sexual health improvements, uh, people that, you know, couldn't reproduce or had other dysfunctions and so forth. Many times have had healings and improvements to those parts, both males and females, because a tonic herb is able to adjust anyone's body, anyone's body systems more in the directions of balance and harmony, no matter what the imbalance is. You gotta, if, if you believe in creative, intelligent design, 
tonic or adaptogenic herbs are one of the most amazing places to see it. That's all I'm going to say. Anti-inflammatory properties, every, every health condition everybody has involves inflammation. So again, a tonic herb is going to improve everything in your system. Um, assuming you have a good source that's not like contaminated with lead or something else. The pure herb itself, organic, grown in, you know, clean soil, air, dirt, water, sunshine, going to be real good for you. Uh, like we're growing here. All organic, healthy, in an environment of love and appreciation and harmony. Woo! Earth Roots Healing! Okay. <laughs> um, skin conditions and skin health, like hair. Um, hair and skin are kind of pretty much related, so it's, it's no surprise that it treats a lot of skin conditions and, you know, drastically improves stuff like that. Um, intuition and spiritual awakening and awareness. Now, I can't say too much about this. Some people would take offense. If you don't believe you have a spirit and you hate the word spiritual, swap the word consciousness. Um, consciousness enhancing. And remember, when we're talking spiritual or consciousness, individual results and experiences will be as different and unique as the entire spectrum of consciousness, okay? Which means I can't tell you what to expect. That entirely depends on who or where you are in your consciousness. I've had some amazing experiences, but I, I don't think explaining those would really be necessarily relevant to anybody else. But if you're someone who believes in deepening your consciousness and what you might call spirituality or connection to deeper layers of what you are and what reality is and what consciousness is, this herb can be tremendously helpful with that, okay? And I don't mean in like a weird acid trip, uh, you know, blow you into another dimension. It's like any tonic herb, it's something that if you take on a regular basis, it subtly adjusts you further and further. And it's a slow, subtle, careful adjustment of all your systems into deeper layers of harmony. You could say mind, body, spirit connection. You could call it a lot of things, but in a very healthy way, it not only improves the, the depth of vitality and function in your physiological self, but also in your mind and spirit or consciousness, okay? And I saved this one for last. DNA protection, repair, and longevity. This is one of the ancient extreme longevity herbs of what was traditional Chinese medicine before it was wiped out by people with guns who, uh, you know, wanted you to buy drugs from the doctor instead. Need I say more? Hopefully not. Um, amazing things that are all but forgotten except for those of us who it you know it lives in our spirit and hopefully that's you too um i don't need to start any fires or cause any problems but if any of this speaks to you look into your look into this for yourself and uh if you're going to try it make sure you get a good organic source with good reviews um it's really important with these tonicers they're not contaminated they weren't grown in like lead lead contaminated soil or something like that you know you want to get all the benefits and not have some side effect problem. So here we got that made. It's one of the reasons I always wanted to live in a tropical climate. There's so many amazing medicines and things and foods we can grow. Um, but if you don't live in somewhere where you can maybe grow your own, there are definitely good sources. I've had some before. There's also bunk sources that did nothing, you know, and uh, I'm not going to, I don't do sources or, or sell anything. So, you know, well, I guess we sell trees in the nursery now for those interested if you're around here in Puerto Rico. But <laughs> I don't have any sources to recommend for for this herb or really any others. you got to do your own research and go with what you feel right about and try it. Okay, try it for yourself. So that's all I can say. Again, not telling anybody what to do. Just sharing some passion in hopes that it awakens it in some others. Because this is what the earth needs and this is what people need if they're going to be sustainable. If the planet's going to be sustainable and the people on it are going to be sustainable, we need to get back to real medicine and where real vitality and real health and real life comes from instead of our artificial alternatives that really don't work. Much love to you and yours from Earth Roots Healing. Over and out for now.